What's up, people? What is up? L U I here. Yes, that's true. Long time no see. As a matter of fact, I forgot how to make these type of videos, but let's get ahead and do it as usual, unplugged and absolutely non edited. So the date is uh, April the 14th, 2018. And guess what? We're bracing, hopefully, for the, the last snowstorm up here in the northeast. Yes, so we're still bracing ourselves with uh, with snow, but this is North America, Northeast, right? That's that. Anyway, uh, as you guys noticed, as I mentioned, I'm literally phasing out of uh, of this platform, namely YouTube, since a while actually. It started more than two years ago, back in 2016, right? For for several reasons. So let me remind you uh, why. But before uh, doing so, let me bring you back. To even further uh, in the past to my very uh, debut uh, on YouTube which was in 2006 because what well, some of you do follow me since then but a lot of you joined a little bit later so probably you don't even remember uh, who I am or how I started on YouTube the fact of the matter is I am one of the oldest fitness the so-called fitness youtubers in the world right and arguably the oldest natural uh, that's that is around so I'm definitely between the four people who started doing fitness all together enhanced and not enhanced right but the natural I think I'm the oldest one and who is still natural right and uh, who lasted all uh, all this uh, era so how I started I stumbled on videos uh, by uh, Scooby right I have no idea if he's still around but back in the day I think he was more or less the uh, the first one that makes uh, fitness videos on YouTube and back then the quality was absolutely basic mediocre like 240p right very basic and YouTube was also quite simplistic back then and he has found uh, a trick how to uh, m uh, manipulate the the thumbnails as you know, nowadays you can choose your thumbnail, but back in the day you could not choose a thumbnail, so YouTube was choosing it by default. However, there was like an algorithm, uh, let's say around the second, 23 seconds of that movie, right, of that movie clip, it takes a screenshot and renders it as being your official thumbnail. So we found out about it and everybody was going to, to his video and inserting a certain thumbnail exactly at let's say 23 seconds because we know that the, the system will go at that moment and, and snap it and of course if you have like an impressive thumbnail uh, you will have more views and to be more attractive furthermore people were enhancing their thumbnails with Photoshop and this and that so he was pretty much the only one that makes those type of video I said dude I mean you I can do this I'm lifting since since ever right it was back 2006. I uh, started lifting since 1991. So I said, listen, I'm going to get myself in shape and make videos. And at that moment, I was really almost on an obese side. I was like, my maximum weight was about 213 up to 217 pounds. For comparison, right now, I'm 162. So you can see the, the difference in the contrast. I was quite chubby, right? I was working like everybody, a corporate job, you know, uh, an office type of, uh, you know, nine to five job. And, uh, you know, how it goes, we order food and you go and binge from your uh, your colleagues, uh, cubicle or, or offices. And, you know, the food was definitely not ideal. Thus, although I was lifting all the time, like three or four times a week, I was chubby, right? It is the typical North American uh, lifestyle so to speak but I forced myself into a four months uh, kind of transformation it was the hardest ever right because this fat was old and the body fights back in a in a severe way but uh, sure enough I made it and there are videos about it on on YouTube and that's how I gained uh, a popularity so I was making videos about training sometimes at home sometimes at the gym quite basic right everybody uh, knows these uh, videos and then slowly and truly of course YouTube became famous and everybody jumped on that bandwagon everybody was making same type of videos and this and that and uh, after so 
I switched to making uh, blogs or talking about the history of, of, of bodybuilding in a sense. And uh, at that moment, I was the only one who makes these type of videos ever. Like on YouTube, I was the very first one who, who documented, you know, the history of, of, of Mr. Olympias and uh, bodybuilders of old. And then I was uh, commentating on recent event, you know, doing uh, basically uh, Mr. Olympia or an Arnold Classic prediction uh, videos. And uh, that's how I became even more famous, right? And I was the only one who makes those other videos back then, right? And after so, uh, you know, slowly but surely on social media, I became uh, in contact with, with some pros and we were talking on a, on, a, on, a, on a daily basis. And the climax was when I really knew them on a personal level. And my outlook on, on bodybuilding changed completely, right? And uh, as you know, back in the days, uh, our contact with, with bodybuilding was uh, mostly via magazines, right? Like Flex Magazine or uh, especially Flex Magazine back in the day. Because even muscular development was not that known, especially not for me since, you know, I was in France, I was in, in uh, Algeria. So the, the only magazines we were getting back then that were really into it, that was Muscle Mag, Flex Magazine and Muscle and Fitness in French. The French version, and that was the only way for us to see, uh, you know, the results of Miss Olympia and the pictures, and the perspective. Believe me, guys, for you, for you, like old timers, you will uh, comprehend this. The perspective was totally different, right? Because you have a proper magazine sitting on your couch for like weeks, and that there are still pictures, so you get to look at them continuously, repeatedly right so it becomes like ingrained in, in your psyche in a sense totally different from the way it is conveyed to us no nowadays via like videos and footage like that and uh, it goes by very fast so back in the day when you see mr olympia 1993 right i mean these pictures stay ingrained in your head forever because they're there and they're magazines and that that's the only thing you have right so you will never forget that battle between Flex Wheeler and uh, Dorian Yates, right? And it was pretty much the end of the era of, of Lee uh, Labrada. I think it was pretty much more or less his last contest. And uh, the big four now started exactly that year. And then Nasser somebody jumped in. Kevin Leveroni became bigger in 90, 95, 96, and so on and so forth, right? So the rest is, is history. But... I mean, you guys noticed around 2016, I became really not passionate about it anymore, right? And for good reason, for good reason, right? I think uh, I had no choice but to resolve to this uh, kind of situation in my case. Uh, you know, the, 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 the image or the, the Polish that was presented to us back then is mostly untrue right now needless to say i'm not talking even about the chemical side of it because it was a known fact i mean uh, the, the chemicals exist since uh, since ever i mean they were there in uh, you know pumping iron of arnold we all knew that they were taking juice right but nowadays it's a totally different ball game and it's quite eventful i'm gonna show you my last post right here and i do invite you probably you guys are already subscribed to me on Instagram so this is merely a repost from my friend uh, Boston Lloyd right I really enjoy you to uh, take a look at it and for for the legacy I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the link of this screenshot or this uh, Instagram post on the link uh, on, on actually on the on the description below you need to be uh, uh, subscribed to me to watch it but this is a uh, a cycle or whatever they call it of um, blasting crews given by a very known supposedly guru in the game and it is just mind-boggling so I have no idea if the camera will focus well so you can read uh, some of it it will probably eventually come on camera it doesn't want to comply obviously oh is it no you cannot see can you not saluted. So you have to take my word for it or pretty much go ahead and uh, read uh, 
the link at the bottom. It just doesn't want to comply with it. But it is absolutely mind-boggling. Just to tell you that the first few lines, 4,000 milligrams of testosterone in various esters. That's like 4 grams. 4 grams a week of testosterone. 200 milligrams of TNE pre-workout. TNE, I'm guessing Tremblon. Uh, 100 milligrams of D-ball pre-workout. 100 milligrams of Anadrol pre-workout. And the list goes on. So it's quite hefty. And even Boston Lloyd right who I affectionately sometimes call Boston Royd or Boston Oil because he's very open about it is somehow astonished by the level of this but is it true absolutely now I know it right like like back in the day we were you know speculating and uh, okay this is not true it's just a lie this and that and lies do happen a lot I mean the pros confess to you that most of them do lie it's like I cannot even count how many pros uh, told me, uh, Louie, 95% of the pros lie to you. They don't tell you the truth about what they take because in their head, they think they have the edge. They want to keep that edge. Uh, they want to keep my secret for myself so I can win, right? But at the end of the day, the, the truth will always be known, right? Because sometimes, you know, it's, it's a known fact. And some of them tell it just like that. Some of them are really truthful, but most of them do lie. It's a known fact. And they do not only lie uh, about their consumption when it comes to the chemicals. They just lie plain, plain and simple. I have no idea why, I'm, I'm, you know, because their mindset is totally different. And I'll try to come back to that extensively. But one thing they have in common, they, 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 they lie about everything. About everything. But, but then again, they're in a different mind state. They're enhanced, so it impedes on, on their way of thinking. That's for sure, right? And uh, that's that. So, uh, as I mentioned previously, uh, I'm no longer passionate, and you guys notice it, right? And it, it came in the, uh, in the proper moment because I'm also not enchanted with the current state with YouTube, right? This platform is dying, it's underachieving, and it is definitely directed by social justice warrior mindset, right? Uh, back there in Silicon Valley, and it is definitely doomed, right? As a matter of fact, my other channel, which was as popular as this one, if not even more, was named Ask Louis Marco. Some of you recall it. When I was talking about those kind of so social justice, warrior, poison, leftist, liberal, feminism, and so on and so forth, and it, it was shut down. So I had to take it down uh, because it, it was affecting this one too. They were both linked, right, on, 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 the, on the, the Google side. So that's why I don't salute YouTube anymore as, uh, as a uh, platform. And lately, uh, as a lot of you noticed, and that's why I'm making this video, I'm making some videos of me showcasing my current shape at the age of 43. And the last time I've done it was in 2011. So a lot of you forgot that I do lift or that I can be in shape. And since then, during the last few days, I'm literally submerged by messages uh, from you guys, uh, you know, new clients uh, wanted to join my uh, my training camp online and so on and so forth. And uh, listen, if I have a legacy to tell you, whether you like me or not, I'll have to insist on this, whether you like me or not, because a lot of people dislike me and for good reason, because throughout the years, I blocked tons of you guys. God knows, I blocked hundreds and hundreds of, of people uh, online for, for several reasons, but mainly the reason I block people is negativity. If you say bad thing about me or anything like that, I just block you. That I know. Good or bad, I don't know. But that's the, that's the pure truth, right? Uh, but whether you like me or not, if you take a legacy from me and a proper, free, genuine, honest, sincere advice, you guys can guess it. It is to stay natural, guys. You guys know what's up. I've been around the block. I'm one of uh, probably the oldest natural on YouTube now. I mean, the oldest in time who started back in the day because nobody started before us. I'm definitely in the top four oldest fitness together. And the, the, the natural, that's for sure. The other guys were not natty. They were not natty and they know it. Um, the, the, there is no secret for longevity, right? There is absolutely no secret for fighting aging, it is to be natural. It's a known fact. 
not only in, in fitness, if you eat well, if you treat your body well, it definitely will give it back to you in a positive way. There is no free ride, guys. There is absolutely no free ride. I made several videos about it. And furthermore, a lot of people dislike me because of this, because I say this truth and sometimes they despise it. And a lot of enhanced guys resent me uh, for that, right? Because they cannot go back in time. When they destroy their health, it's too late. Uh, I've, I have messages from guys who are 24 years old and they're obliged to be on testosterone replacement therapy at 24 because they're shut down. You know, their, their glands no longer function. So they have to take testosterone for the rest of their life at the age of 24. So try to sink that in, right? Try to sink that in. So that's that. But personally, I don't dislike you. I'm just t telling the, the truth. And knowing the pressure that the new generation has, you guys are dealing with a totally different beast compared to my era, right? Obviously, I don't suffer from uh, bigorexia, thankfully. Secondly, I avoid uh, mainstream gyms. I can no longer go to them. I mean, the, the vibe changed totally during the last decade or so. So, if you're young uh, and you follow these uh, so-called fake natties on social media, furthermore, you have your peer pressure at your college or whatever that they tell you you don't have a lift, you're not big enough, you're not strong. You go to these gyms, you see these enhanced guys lifting some crazy weights. God be with you. Of course, the pressure you have on your shoulder is tremendous. That's why a lot of guys right now are, are jumping on it. I had my best friend. I mean, he lifts in a random way. And he told me everybody at his gym is taking SARMs. For them, it's like the, a new trend. And they think that the taking SARMs, it's safer than, than juice, which is absolutely nonsensical, right? That they're, they're hurting themselves probably in a more severe way. But... Uh, as I said, even if I blocked you in the past, first of all, I do apologize sincerely. It's not personal. I don't even know you, and you guys, you guys know that, right? So, but I do confess that my blocking habit is definitely uh, automatic. I confess that. I mean, don't even tell me about it. I know I block a lot of people, but first of all, don't dislike me uh, f for that. And if you do dislike me, do not dislike my message to you because it is sincere and honest, right? And this will be my legacy on this dying, doomed, godforsaken platform named YouTube. Stay natural, guys. And you can see around how many people have heart issues, how many guys are having some back tears, right? And they never, they never tell you the truth or they never associate that, the, the, their health issues with all the chemicals they took during their uh, their decades of uh, consumption. Oh no, I didn't lift well. I was not warm up well. You know, you know, they have that Superman complex. They think they're invincible, and they know they're chemically burnt, right? And they destroy the health. You know, when, when somebody uh, has a, a pack here in his forties, forget about it. He is not coming back, right? And you know, they look old, uh, and this is just externally. Internally, it's worse. So it is your choice, right? to take the easy way and you, you will be like a lion for a few years but then you will be chemically burned and you will suffer the consequences that, that I cannot even count. I mean, I ask gurus who are very known in this so-called uh, business, I tell them, bro, I mean, what do you give your athletes, the, so, I mean, the, 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 these lifters, because I refrain from calling them athletes, you give them, what is the best one? Is it like aroma scene? Is it normal Dax or is it uh, whatever the other one, uh, forgot about it. And they said, me, bro, they all have uh, side effects. So there is no free ride. I mean, you're just trying to to patch issues created by the previous drug. You know what I mean? You take this drug and then you know, take another one to try to counter uh, basically the side effects of it. And this one will create other things and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, you cannot fool nature, guys. You cannot fool uh, nature. Uh, I went to uh, Kuwait and I met a lot of guys and I noticed that they're all, you know, they have kind of a big muscle in the, or big arms, big arms, because you don't, you don't see the vein or something like that. But the, the, the muscle or the arm and the whole thing looks mushy. It's mushy, it's soft. These guys are off. 
they took a lot of juice back in the day and when they stopped it's like the muscle stays there but it's kind of spongy and mushy not good looking and they don't, they don't look healthy what the hell is this and then on other occasions i met other guys who are taking juice and god knows i mean they got, these guys were were honest with me they were only on like 400 500 they look all reddish they're they're big for sure but they're all reddish and they're, they're out of breath and when they do any type of physical activity they're probably shows i mean you're lifting a weight that is not yours i mean that ex that excessive like 40 pounds or 40 pounds on top of your natural weight no it's just fake uh, and they try to, to to sustain and to maintain their cardiovascular system at the end of the day you cannot fool nature it will come back and and bite you so that's that you guys comprehend now hopefully most of you that fit fitness does not necessarily equal bodybuilding right and i do not equate bodybuilding with any other sport bodybuilding does not compare to any olympic sport right olympic sports are being tested and when they get caught they get caught like the whole russian team and even people who cheat like uh, ben johnson back in the day they cheat merely with one compound and they get caught right and uh lance uh armstrong when he was cheating which you know about two compounds or two so it was a different ball game and he got caught right so do not tell me that uh, every sport takes juice no right bodybuilding is a whole different ball game it's a it's a chemical warfare and they're not athletic bodybuilding are bodybuildings are not athletes right the olympic guys when they reach uh, the olympic games they're at the top of their shape Bodybuilder, bodybuilders, when they compete, they are the worst of their shape. They're, they're not healthy. They, can, they have no cardiovascular system. They're weak, right? Different ball game. And one other truth that you guys, most of you know by now, most of the pros, they're not rich. So what, whatever we were seeing back in the day, these cars and these mansions, they were just rentals. And most of them definitely are struggling to still maintain that lifestyle. It is the proper, proper truth, right? So at the end of the day, hopefully by now, 2018, most of you know that it's very okay to be fit. I definitely recommend it. I will live for the rest of my life. Uh, right now, I'm aiming to reach the best shape of my life. Absolutely. You guys saw my videos. What you see is what you get. Uh, I'm still like I used to be in uh, when I was uh, 35. I'm 43 now. And it's pretty much the best shape of my life. Even at 25, I was not like this, right? And that's a testament that fitness can make you happy. And uh, I definitely uh, enjoy you and recommend you to lift, but do it the proper way and think uh, of the long run. Think about the long run, right? You will have kids, uh, probably you'll have a career. So do not uh, jeopardize uh, whole health, your whole health, your whole future whole body uh for lord's sake for a you know a, a glory that will last only uh, only a few years so that's that guys uh god bless you keep it up and i have no idea if i'll come back to uh, to make a uh, a long video like i'm doing right now on youtube this was mostly due to all the overwhelming messages i'm receiving on my platforms about my last uh videos there's no secret I'm gonna say uh, one real quick thing because as I mentioned this was not edited nor prepared when it comes to supplements I guarantee you when it comes to myself right now what I'm taking the, the, the supplements the off-the-shelf supplements I can count them on one hand meaning five fingers right they're not that numerous right that, that they're really effective they work and they produce reasonable natural gains right uh, furthermore, even for a natural, when you try to take a lot of supplements, your body will reply in a negative way, right? Like sometimes you try to take a lot of them and next thing you know, you'll be going to pee like every 30 minutes because the body cannot process them all, even though they're natural legal products. But at the end of the day, you still have kidneys and you have, you know, a liver that we need to process these, these compounds, right? So you cannot take a lot and not a lot of quantity. So at the end of the day, you need to be reasonable. What I give to myself and also to my clients, that can count on like three, four, five, right? And, and the fifth is probably whey protein, which is pretty much uh, food. That's that, guys. You need to comprehend this, right? 
and that's it god bless you and thank you for all the messages and as usual uh you know for my training services hopefully i'll add uh, the address here so louis marco training at gmail.com exclusively for for naturals and again our, our, you know the the last example is from a guy named jerry is is, is very big he's on trt I respectfully told him, bro, I cannot help you because I have no expertise with uh, enhanced guys. I mean, he gave me his macros and they're totally off compared to the guy with the same size who is natural. So totally different ball game. I have no expertise in that. I will not help him. As simple as that. And before letting you go, I'm going to tell you one truth that was told to me by Phil Heath, who is a guy I'm no longer in, in uh in talking term with him but back in the day when i used to talk to uh, phil heat he told me one thing and i agree with him he told me bro do you know why hanny rambard is probably one of the best gurus around he said bro because he tried it natural first so he was in the trenches and he learned everything the natural way before jumping into the pro scene right and that's food for thought i do agree with him right because it's totally different ball games I receive tons of clients who subscribe to enhanced guys, right? And first of all, a lot of enhanced guys don't even train you themselves. They have teams or guys working for them because they have no clue, right? And furthermore, how can he help you? The guy has already a coach himself and he's enhanced. How can an enhanced guy benchmark his results with you being natural and give you some natural macros and supplements and exercises? doesn't uh, make sense a lot of you do uh, comprehend that so hopefully I'll come back again and talk about a lot of things about how the big guys are no longer selling so you will see a lot of supplement uh, companies they no longer want to do business with uh, big bodybuilders because when a big bodybuilder who is like 300 pounds come to you and tell you and you see a picture of him with a pre uh, workout even a kid will comprehend that that pre workout probably never takes it and it's not a pre workout who makes him that big right the guy takes other things uh pre-workout as i mentioned to you on the boston lloyd uh screenshot you know what i'm gonna link the boston lloyd link because his profile is public you can see it uh better uh, than mine that's that louis marco checking out it was a 27 minutes video louis marco training at gmail.com for natural training and you guys saw the results of my clients are absolutely proper and loyal why because i take care of them on a personal level. That's what's up. Be absolutely saluted.